welcome to the last day of FCA. We're going to talk about 100% others in serving. Our verse comes from Mark 10, verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. In our last meeting, we talked about the importance of surrounding ourselves 100% with the right team. But then what? Do you simply live happily ever after, or is there a greater purpose behind this whole journey? The answers are no and yes. No, you don't just take what you've gained from your relationship with Christ and keep it yourself. And yes, there is a much greater purpose behind this whole journey, far greater than we can imagine. What we experience as believers is first and foremost meant to glorify God. And second, it's meant to lead to a life of extending hope to those around us, so that we might have the opportunity to share the gospel and bring them into God's family. It's all about giving 100% of yourself to serve others and lead them into a growing relationship with Jesus. Give 100% to others. God didn't send his son to be sacrificed just so you could enjoy a life-changing relationship with him. He wants all humankind to receive the promise of eternal salvation. That means those who accept salvation are responsible for sharing the gospel message with others. Here are three ways that you can accomplish that mission through servant leadership. First, serve the body. Everyone has physical needs. Serving those needs is often a great introductory way to show people that you really care. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but you don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, Goodbye, have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but you don't give that person any food or clothing? What good does that do? So you see, faith isn't by itself enough, unless it produces good deeds. It is dead and useless, from James 2, verse 14 through 17. The second thing is serving the soul. There's nothing more powerful than a kind, encouraging word. If you want to make a difference in someone's life, find ways to speak to their heart and through their emotions. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. From Ephesians 4, verse 29. And the third thing is serve the Spirit. Ultimately, the most important thing you can do for anyone is to bring them into a relationship with God and help him or her, her grow closer to them through discipleship. But my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for the finishing work assigned to me by Lord Jesus, the work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God, Acts 20, verse 24. As you step out of your comfort zone, God will give you the opportunities to be a blessing to those around you and begin to fulfill the call to be more like Jesus. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many, Mark 10, verse 45. Our key point is give 100% by serving and leading others into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. I hope you enjoyed. I wish we were in person, but I hope you enjoyed our FCA camp and lessons. Bye.